Jaske today. In the 20th century, he was reborn in the 60s and 70s as an anti-imperialist symbol. Uh, um, at the time, there were a lot of African-American soldiers posted to Japan uh, during the Vietnam War, especially to Okinawa, uh, and the Japanese were uh, coming to terms with this and they were finding uh, large populations of um, black people on their soil for the first time and seeing uh, the differences between how the black and the whites were being treated in America. And also at the same time, they were engaging with left-wing politics and the books tended to be written by people who were um, pointing out deficiencies in the world and in the imperialist and capitalist systems. Onto the 21st century, uh, starting in the late, very late 1990s, he's actually reborn as a modern day uh, media idol. He's uh, been used as the background for various manga, for various anime, for computer game characters, uh, for movies, for, for books, for theatre productions, uh, even at least one or two movies now, in, one in Japanese that I know of. Uh, he, the character in the movie, the main character in the movie is the grandson of Yasuke. So many of these stories are not actually about Yasuke, uh, about the real Yasuke anyway, but they are based upon his own character or people who are connected with him. And he is kind of in the background of the stories. So he's basically um, found his way into the fabric of Japanese history, not just as himself, but as, as a, uh, a representative of uh Africans in Japan and also uh, in, indeed foreigners in, in Japan. Um, when I was writing the original research paper and the original book, which I wrote in English, but was translated into Japanese, I found that lots of people around the world had also found a lot of inspiration in his story. Um, the fact that he may have been a slave and then rose to the heights of a different country's culture, the fact that he made a, something of himself so far away from where he was born, the fact that he survived through all of these difficulties and prospered, uh, gave a lot of people around the world um, inspiration and um, helped them in their own lives, which I found rather touching. And I started to look at that in a bigger way. And you can again read about that in the book. Uh, here we see him portrayed in Neo from 2017. Uh, I believe this is one of the biggest selling games of that, that year. Um, he is in fact a baddie in this game, a playable character, but he's rather a nice baddie apparently. I haven't played the game as another gamer, but uh, I'm informed that it's a good game. Another Yasuke portrayal in a computer game from 2013 uh, from Nobunaga's Ambition. And then we can see him portrayed um, in a theatre production of Momoyama Beat Tribe. Uh, in this story, which is actually a book originally, um, after the incident, after Nobunaga's death, uh, he's trying to, he's down and out basically, he's trying to make some money to get his way back to wherever he wants to go. Uh, and he meets up with three other down and outs and they form a kind of um, street onto a street band and make money uh, doing that. They go through all sorts of adventures. This is the theatre production. It's also being made into anime and uh, manga as well as the original um, historic, semi-historical novel. So we come on now to his position within culture and society in Japan today. Over the last 40 years, um, particularly over the last 20 years, Japan has become a rapidly more diverse society. Uh, there's a huge increase in foreign residents, um, people, immigrants. Uh, many of those, of course, have decided to naturalize. Um, is around about a 99% acceptance rate for nationalizations, as I understand it. I think specifically that's because you're not allowed to even apply unless you're likely to get it. Um, but it, there are several tens of thousands each year who, who do that. Um, therefore, the Japanese population is becoming far more diverse and looking different from how it would have done 50 years ago. Many stereotypes of what Japan looks like um, in the world outside of Japan would be easily burst if you were to walk around Tokyo. 
Um, there's also a massive increase in the visibility of a foreign workforce. And by that, I don't mean long-term immigrants or naturalized citizens. I mean people who come for five to 10 years, work and then return to their countries. This is particularly true today of Vietnamese people uh, of whom there are, I think, between three and 400,000 right now. Uh, visas and immigration have been liberalized uh, massively over the last 20 years to facilitate this immigration but also to try and ensure that it is managed immigration and society retains a balance. Uh, of course, with a large increase in people coming from abroad, there is also a large increase in mixed heritage citizens. Um, again, this makes the society look very different. Japanese people with very light blonde hair, for example, or perhaps uh, more Afro style hair. Uh, and this also, uh, th this kind of multicultural society has also been um, aided by uh, tourism and has an economic importance um, by the fact that many people come here as uh, tourists and eventually come back later on uh, to work. There are many debates raging though within politics, within the society about whether it's a good thing, whether it's a bad thing. Um, whether um, some of the difficulties which other countries have seen with multiculturalism can be avoided in Japan. Of course, the main uh, lantern bearer for this in the last couple of years has been Osaka Naomi. Uh, her father is from Haiti. Uh, her mother is Japanese. She was mainly brought up in the States, but she chose to represent Japan uh, as a tennis player, and I believe she's one of the top tennis players in the world certainly i believe she's the most the most earns the most money so prominent black citizens in japan we can look this year to or last year now to tochigi aisha harumi who uh, was miss universe japan last year uh, miyamoto ariana who was miss universe uh, japan five years ago uh, seki guchi mandi who is a singer konda bobby an entertainer uh, he's originally from Africa and uh, he's naturalized. Uh, Hachimura Ri, a uh, very famous basketball player who now plays in America. Uh, Matsushima Kotaro, uh, who is a rugby player. Uh, Nun Ira Kareyang, uh, who's a famous judo cup uh, Olympian, I believe. And of course, the man who holds a 100 meter sprint record uh, 9.97 seconds for uh, for Japanese is Sunny Brown Abdul Hakim. Some of these people here are represented on that slide. 